Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about Tao Long. So Tao Long is a board game that I tried this year at PAX Unplugged 2017. It was definitely in the top three new board games that I have seen within 2017. I really liked it a lot. So uh, there was a specific company and they were demoing it at PAX Unplugged, so I got to try it uh, during a demo. I played it twice uh, at PAX Unplugged. Um, it is uh, it is a great board game. It has a lot of advantages, and I'm going to tell you about those advantages. So, um, so Tao Long is specifically, uh, you know, I'm going to actually describe, so I'll give you the overall um, idea of what the game is. So Tao Long is a competitive two-player strategy game that is played where two dragons are in the sky, and they are attempting to... Uh, Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. It can be played up to four players. Um, so it's two to four players, and you can uh, and you fight using dragons, and your dragons are made out of tiles. And so uh, the board is essentially same as a checkerboard or a chessboard. It's a grid. The theme of the game is very Chinese. It has a Chinese theme to it. Uh, I would say almost mythical China um, theme to it. And um, beautiful art, very very well done. The tiles are gorgeous, and um, and also the game. So the overall idea of the game is is essentially fighter combat between dragons in a very tactical, strategic type game. Type game. That's the theme. Now uh, the number of players is two to four, and the time of uh, the length of play is anywhere from, and you know, you can check, of course, you can check on the board, uh, check on the side of the box, but often I do not trust the side of boxes on many, many, many games because often on the side of a box, it's going to tell you whatever, often the sides of board game boxes, in my opinion, are like movie trailers. They're like, this is what we hope the game is rather than often what the game actually is. Just my take on uh, on on Axe. So so what I experienced this game to be is two to four players, and uh, this is really important: fifteen to forty five minutes of play, right, uh, max. And so you can play this quickly. Also, the game is highly highly portable, right? So it, it's only two inches high by four inches across by eight inches is the box. So you can absolutely so you can throw this into a backpack with multiple other games go to a roof party and play it, right? It's a roof party game, right? And it, it really is very portable, very fun. You could bring this to a Sunday brunch. Like, it's really, really cool. Also, it plays quietly and it has no dice, which is a big deal. So, because you could you could easily play this, you could play this game in a coffee shop, which is really fantastic. So this game was, it's brand new. It's a brand new 2017 board game. It was just Kickstartered successfully. I was not involved in the Kickstarter. I was not a backer, right? Um, just wanted to be clear. And I absolutely love it. So I'm just saying that because like a lot of times you might have investment like anxiety and you were like, oh yeah, I invested and it's great. But no, no, I played this at PAX. It is truly a beautiful game. So let me talk a little bit about what it is. So essentially, think of a chessboard, right? But smaller. So like the the little squares are smaller than on a regular chessboard. Um, and again, the whole the entire board, uh, you know, folds out to maybe like, you know, I think about eight inches wide uh, and then about twelve inches across. Okay, and only a portion of that, only about half of that, is actually used by the game board. And then over on the side are actually little directions that help you play the game. And th those are really nice. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about them in, in a minute. So, so basically, turn turn order is you go back and forth between you. Let's say it's a two player game, you go back and forth between you and another player. And I'm going to explain what the demo was like. Now you could have, and then I'll explain some of the expansion within the not expansion of the game within the game, the box that you get. There are no expansions of this game available right now, which is great. I think it's really actually very difficult to get expansions that make board games. Uh, better at all, which is, that's an entire conversation. So, um, so basically I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, so what it does. So you begin with this, with this chessboard, and you put your dragons down, you and your opponent, and each of your dragons is only three tiles, three tiles long, head, body, tail. Okay. 
And when you put your dragon down, he's just one big long line like a snake, okay? And um, and and he is t three tiles long, right? So then what you do is you begin to move, you, you begin your movement, right? Now your movement is controlled by this other side of the board, which is um, all of the elements. So it's earth, water, air, fire, okay? And you have these uh, these little discs, white and black discs, that are that are used to actually to actually make your movement, right? And the movement of your dragon is not 100% in your control. It is how you can move these discs over on the movement portion of the game. So basically, you pick up a pile of discs and you and you and you begin to move around. The dip, the movement circle, right? And so you could you could start at water, and then you could go to earth, and then you're at fire, right? Now, if you had two discs, you're gonna pick up at earth, you know, you're gonna pick up all the way over at water, then you're gonna drop one off at earth, and then you're gonna end by placing your last one on fire. And fire will tell you your moves that you have. So water and fire are the same moves. You move your your guy one forward, actually. You move forward one and turn, and then you can expel or you can absorb, okay? So you're getting a little bit of movement, and then you're expelling or you're absorbing, okay? The body of your dragon is, uh, each tile takes four hit points to destroy, right? And those four hit points are actually um, shown with, uh, they're actually made within um, the, they're actually specifically shown on the board with these blue and red tiles. So blue is water and red is um, red is actually fire, okay? And basically, when you've taken four points of damage, one of your tiles is destroyed. Now in a, in a three tile game, you're gonna take your body out and now you just have a head and a tail, you have this tiny little dragon, right? Um, and when you expel, so when you absorb, you, you pull in water or you pull in fire, and then there's actually a range piece where that can show you that how much damage is done when you expel. So you can absorb, you know, fill your belly with you know with water or fire, and then you could blast that out and damage a dragon that you're close to, right? And that's pretty and that's pretty much, you know, and so you don't have 100% control of the movement of your dragon. You actually have to be very smart and you have to look at these discs that are piling up on the movement board between the elements, between fire, water, earth, and air. And you, you kind of, you know, move those around. So not every movement option is available on every turn, right? And then around on each one of those points on the board, you have different movement options. But your movement option has to match the direction that your of uh, that your dragon is currently going right so the game has pretty high complexity but it also it plays quickly and essentially it's dragon combat it's very stylized strategic dragon combat that plays in 15 to 45 minutes and is super portable i fell in love this game is just awesome Tao Long is a real recommendation from me coming out of PAX Unplugged. I highly recommend getting Tao Long. Very, very cool game. Check it out. Tao Long, brand new board game for 2017. Super portable, super fast, super cool, and uh, highly recommend, recommend, recommended by J. Scott Garibay. Take care.